Hi, I'm Tom and in this video I will show you how the draft rotate tool works. The rotate tool is part of the draft workbench and also the BIM workbench. I'm using FreeCAD 1.0 in this video. So the rotate tool is on the draft modification tools toolbar and when I fire it up FreeCAD is asking me to choose an object which I want to rotate. So I will select this rectangle and then the tool follows up and here you can see the task panel of the tool. First FreeCAD is asking me to select the point that the object will be rotated around. So if I would want to rotate around center I would click the center point but I will let's say select this point so I will click here. Now the FreeCAD is asking me for the base angle. This is the angle relative to which I will be rotating the tool. So I can select the zero angle which is angle to the right by clicking, hitting shift and clicking here and now it's asking me for the rotation. You can see if I move my mouse the rectangle is already rotating so if I move my mouse here and hold shift and click I rotated the rectangle by 90 degrees and the tool has ended. Now instead of firing up the tool and then selecting the objects to rotate I prefer to first select the objects that I want to rotate and then to fire up the tool. Now I'm immediately selecting the base point. Now let's say this time I will select this point. I can select the base angle so let's say the base angle I will select here and now if I move my mouse you can see how it's moving and I can hold shift and click here and it's ro rotated back into the original rotation. So here I was selecting the rotation and the end angle by clicking uh, into the space. Now let's look at this watch and let's say I wanted to move this thin hand to the position of three quarters. So I will select the object, fire up the rotate tool, now select the rotation point. So I will select this one and I can set the base angle to be zero, hit enter. And now I have to move my mouse a little bit to be able to input the rotation with the keyboard. So I will move my mouse a little bit and if I type in 90 and hit enter it's rotated 90 degrees and the positive uh, positive degrees is counter, -clock, counter clockwise. So it's important to have this in mind. Unfortunately you cannot insert the angle with minus. So if I wanted to rotate the, the thin hand back to the 12 o'clock position I would select it, select the rotation point, select base angle to be zero and then the rotation would be not minus 90 but 270 hit enter and it's rotated all the way up here. You can also see if I select the thin hand and rotate, select the rotation point here and start the base angle here now I can easily point to let's say this minute so it's rotated like so. Up until now I was rotating only one object at a time but of course I can select two or multiple objects so I will select the thick handle and the, th and the thin hand and fire up the rotate tool, select the, the base point and select the base angle. So let's say I will select it here and I want to move them to three o'clock. So I will move it like this and both of them were rotated at the desired angle. Now let's take a look at some additional options of this tool. So if I select the small hand, fire up the rotate tool. Uh, here I have four options. The first one global uh, is global coordinates and I have this option described in a separate video so if you want to watch that uh, it will be linked in the description box below. Now uh, I will show you what the copy does. If I check copy 
The command works the same as previously, but it creates a rotated copy of the original object. So if I select the base uh, point, and then I select the base angle and a new angle here, I've got two small uh, hands, the, the thin hands. This one was created as a rotated copy of the original one. So now let me delete this one and select this one again and fire up the rotate tool. I will uncheck the copy. The continue option means that once the command is ended, it starts again without user prompting it. I don't find this very useful, but you might find it useful. So I will select the base point, the base angle and the new angle. And once I clicked here, the command restarts with the line selected. So I can select the base angle again, oh, sorry, the base point, then the base angle and then the end angle. And this will go on until I hit close. Now the last option works only on line and uh, draft wire objects. And let's say I want to rotate not the whole wire object, but uh, I want to rotate only this line. I will select the edge, fire up the rotate tool and I will actually uncheck continue. And if I have modify sub elements checked, it rotates only the selected sub elements so it would be rotating this uh, edge so if i select the the point around which i want to rotate i will select the base angle and the end angle it rotated just this one line so be careful this option works uh, only with uh, draft wires and draft lines so this is all you need to know about the draft rotate tool. If you find FreeCAD useful, consider supporting its future development by donating to the project. The link to the donate page is in the description box below. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.